Okay, oh, so that's now what we have So oh, another another thing that we need to talk about is if the panel is going to be a bit shorter, if at the end we're having kind of a swap meet thing uh, from the community. So a bunch of girls brought stuff that they don't want anymore, and so you can buy it, trade it, sell it, steal it. <laughs> if you don't want to be known as the brand stealer, I'll put you on behind the bows. Hell yeah. People will never forget. Check Alright. Can I sit back down now? Can everybody hear me now? Yes. Alright. So a lot of you people are here to learn about cheap clothing, and I'm known as a Taobao queen in my community, so we're gonna teach you how to buy cheap related clothing on Taobao. You ever heard of sites called Cutie Land or Clubba, Clubbo, Clubba, whatever, Clubba. If you've ever seen the store Envy, all of that clothing is 10 times cheaper on Taobao. So I'm gonna teach you how to buy that from there because I promised people in my J Fashion panel I would teach them. So this is a Taobao shop. That's my favorite one. It's mysis.taobao.com. I think my entire closet's from here. Uh, it specializes in emoji K. Uh, so here's a few things that we need to talk about before we start it. It's all in Chinese, because that's what people in China speak. <laughs> I know. Even though English is a free language, Chinese, China's communist, so they don't speak that. <laughs> all right, so you can see uh, on that, I don't know if you can see, but a lot of those things say like 115 RMB, 100 something RMB, uh, probably like 12 RMB for those socks. RMB is China currency, it's a 15 to 1 ratio. So um, I would like to say 100, 100 is 6 bucks. Yeah, I think so. That was right. Um, you're going to need a shopping service. Uh, today we're using Primini because it's my favorite. I spent a lot of money with them. Um, so we're going to show them how to use them in the guide. There's a bunch of them. Pick whichever one's right for you. Or just use Primini. Um, a working knowledge of how to use Google Translate. So if, once again, that goes back to Chinese people speaking Chinese. Uh, so if you want to find a dress, you've got to find out what the Chinese word for dress is. How to do that? Go to google.com slash translate, type in dress, type in Chinese on the other side, and now you will know how to search on Taha. All right, so first we're going to go over the search. So this is, if you go to taobao.com, you're going to find something like this. And I, I typed in a model's name, Elle. She's my favorite model, so I love her. Um, you can use Google Translate to find dress. Uh, use, you can use model names, you can use brand names, you can use adjectives. And the most important part on this page is sorting by credit. Chinese people, they will scam you. They will send you crappy stuff. We talked about them in the J Fashion panel, and we talked about this in the Lolita 101 panel. There's a Chinese company called Milanu. They make crappy stuff, and they'll scam you. So we're sorting by credit. Um, if you go to lolitaguide.com, I have a link to a bunch of text files that are all Taobao guides, and dictionaries, and reputable store reviews and stuff. So you can see it there. All right. Do -do. All right, so now you've found your item, and I've clicked these tattoo tights that I own. Um, so on the, you can see a bunch of crowns on the, the one side of the screen. Um, and I want to tell you about the store credit rating. If it's, got a, if it's got crowns, it's the best. So what you see is what you get. It'll probably be really good quality. Um, diamonds are still pretty good. Um, not as good as the crown shop. The more and hearts are sketchy, so if somebody tells you like it's a good shop, shop there. Otherwise, stick to crown and diamond stores. And the more of that symbol that they have underneath their name, the better the shop is. So this has four crowns, so it's super, super good. Um, another thing, everything on Taobao, unless you put plus size, is made for a US size four to six. That includes your legs. And for tights, you're gonna be probably about five, four before it starts to get uncomfortable. Uh, and then you get like a little saddle leg thing where it doesn't go all the way up. Uh, to fix that, turn them into thigh highs. So cut them off, sew them, and then use them. I want to be Chinese so bad. <laughs> Everything comes, if it doesn't have a size listing on the page, 
is going to be free size. Um, it'll list the free size, but mostly it's going to be four to six. Um, I think it's like a 27 inch waist is probably your best bet. Uh, so now you know. So these tights, I bought them for about 79 cents. All right, now we're gonna go to the Pruny. So sign up for Pruny, uh, start a new order. Um, and then at the, on the left side, I, I click, it showed the URL at the top. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy that URL. You're gonna paste it into the website field. Um, and then you click the, that little plus button. And then once your bank account go down and down and down. Um, once you're done submitting new orders, you're going to, um, oh, and another important part, uh, if you have options, the remarks, you put your options in there, like the last types came in kitty or devil, so you would type kitty if you wanted the kitty ones or devil if you wanted the devil ones. Your shopping service is actually like there for you. It's like your best friend and they feed your shopping addiction. Um, uh, submit order and then you'll pay. Uh, it, it, it'll do the translation for you. It'll go through PayPal. Um, then you'll wait while the goods are shipped from mainland China to the shopping service, and then it'll, you, they don't email you at Pruny when they arrive, so check back frequently. And then um, you're gonna pay a shopping service fee. That's gonna be six to 10% of your total order. Um, let's see, pay shipping. Shipping comes in three different speeds. We've got EMS, a Sal, and a, the one with the ship. The feet. <laughs> Mail. I don't know what it's called. It's really slow, so I never use it because I'm impatient. Um, so you're, if you're with a reputable shopping service, you're going to get a discount on your EMS shipping. In the case of Pruny, you get a 55% discount on EMS, and it's almost always cheaper than the Sal. Um, and it comes to 14 days. Um, for EMS, your base price is about 20 bucks. Um, from speaking from experience, you can get about 15 pounds worth of stuff for $116. Um, that's the downside of shopping with Taobao, so that and waiting. <laughs> and then that's it. That's all you have to do. You basically copy and paste URL if you find on Taobao and talk to your shopping service, and then that's literally all there is to it. And if you have issues with Taobao, if you're like, oh, is this item in stock? ask your shopping service. You are paying them money to do your shopping for them. So please just ask them questions. They love it. Uh, can this fit me? Give your measurements to your shopping service. How long will this take? Ask your shopping service. Is this shop reputable? Ask your shopping service. You're paying them to shop for you. Just make them do their job. They love it. <laughs> and they're always online. They don't, they don't even care. <laughs> they don't sleep. So when I started, um, I mentioned these three sites, Kitty Land, Clava, and Store Envy. So if you come across a Store Envy, nine times out of ten, they're doing what we just talked about. This this store that I have on here, Syndrome, though they have those bunny tights for $14. I just told you I bought those bunny tights for 79 cents. So you do the math. They order it direct from China. You have to wait for the shipping from China to you and pay an insane markup so they can make a profit. Ooh. All right. All right, so before I move into onto auctions, does anyone have any Taobao questions? All right. I have one. Oh. Is Surface Spell a good Yes. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very good. I have ordered from Surface Spell several times, and my product has always been excellent. They also do custom sizing. Is part of it, um, since I like something by Memoir they have a couple of prints that are very similar. They have, um, I think it's called like the Nightwish corset, fish bone jumper skirt, something like that. It's a little similar to an Amwatsuki um, design that they have, and it comes in like every color under the sun. And I have it, I had it in red, and it's very nice. And then they have a skirt, or it also comes in a skirt, a long skirt, and a jumper skirt. Okay. And it has like a cathedral embroid embroidered on the bottom, and that kind of resembles a Amwatsuki print, oh. so if you get it in black. Just remember when you send your measurements to a Lolita seamstress, my dress that I wore yesterday, if anybody saw me, was from a, a seamstress out there. Add um, like two to three centimeters to each of your measurements for breathing room, because they will tailor it to that exact size. Okay. 
Yeah, my, my, my skirt, I got it at my exact waist size, and it's a tiny bit tight. <laughs> um, another thing I would recommend, I'm sorry, another thing I would recommend if you're kind of scared about that high shipping price when you're ordering from Taobao, if you have one or two friends that you trust really, really well, and that you know very, very well, and you know where they live, <laughs> I would recommend doing a group order. It's super easy. I did one with a couple of friends, and I think we each paid like 15 bucks in shipping, and we got a lot of stuff. Which make sure you know them really well, because I've heard of bad things happening with group orders. I have had that happen before. Yeah, it's no fun. Issues. <laughs> it's not a lot of fun. It's like Zero. you. <laughs> a friend ordered a wig, and um, she stole it from. Her. Yeah, she. Uh, she didn't like the wig that she ordered, so she kept my friend's wig and gave my other friend the wig that she didn't like. So she's like, oh, this wig is not what I ordered. It's like, sorry, that's what they sent. And so it's, it's good to like do group orders with people you trust, especially if you know where they live. Question? Yeah, there, do you have any return exchange policy? None. None. Okay. But like, that's the, that's the risk you gotta take. A lot of Lolita and uh, J Fashion items, especially if you're a Gyaru, can, can be sold pretty quickly for like the price you paid for it. Um, I know I ended up having to sell a surface bell skirt on the top of that because it was too short and I was like, this is, this is going to make me look gross. Um, so I sold it for what I paid for it on second hand. Yes, Nicole. Some stores do offer return policies. I got the wrong, I got the incorrect measurement from Deerslee once and I sent it back and they said, well, it's not returned. So I don't know if they offer return policies. It's a lot of money. Sometimes it's better to just sell it and buy a different one. Another thing you can do is ask your shopping again, ask your shopping service to open the packages and check everything and make sure it's right before they send it to you because it's a lot cheaper for them to send it back to the store than for you to send it back to China. Pruny, uh, Tava Ring, and Biner, those are other shopping services we need to talk about. They all will take pictures upon request. Tava Spree does too. And so I always have a weird spray. So if you want a picture of your item before you get it, you can just ask them. Um, another thing that we need to talk about, and you brought it up kind of, is replicas in China. Recently there's been a crackdown on replicas coming into the United States. However, Lolita brands, most J fashion brands like a uh, candy stripper, etc., are not caught. However, stuff like Liz Lisa, which is a Giaru brand, and Chanel and other American like Gucci stuff. It's obvious that it's a replica because it's from China, so it'll be caught and destroyed by customs. Um, so don't get obvious American brands. Stick to like Japanese brands that nobody cares about. Except those. Some of them do. Some of them don't. I know Pruny doesn't give a crap about anything that I do. So clearly, we just need to use Pruny. I love Pruny so much. All right, we're gonna talk about auctions. Um, I think we talked, we flushed it on this last time. Who has more? Do you have more auction experience than me? I have. Um, most of my closet actually, most of my brand pieces are from uh, Mbok because I, I really like AP and Mbok is a place to go if you want like really like cheap AP, which is angelic pretty for those who don't know. Um, well with uh, Mbok it's, and uh, Y Japan, you do have to use a, so a shopping service um, just like with uh, Taobao. Um, there are like different types of shopping services. You can get. I'm not like I have a little. You know, I'm not as comfortable with like the, the quick, the quick bits or whatever. But like you, there are ones where if you find something and it's ending in a few hours, some of them are like, no, you know, we don't have enough time to do that. And some of them are like, okay, we got this, but you're gonna have to pay an extra fee. So just. Find a shopping service that fits your needs. They do your research and things like that. For quick bids, you're going to have to find somebody who's a personal shopping service where it's one girl, or Chibi Tenshi, uh, Sweet Like Sugar shopping service is the one I use. Uh, you're going to have less luck with Japonica for quick bids like that, but better luck for like if there's more than 24 hours on the, on the item, you'll be able to bid it. Um, with uh, these sites, these are Japanese sites, so you're gonna have to find like the Japanese word, just like you did with Taobao, like if you want angelic. Usually some of them, like angelic pretty, you can just type in angelic pretty, because like that's kind of like their American name. 
so it does come up. But some of them you're gonna need to like find the actual names. I actually have a list of like a whole bunch of brands and like links. So if you guys like want to message me, I'll send you both those links. Um, and then that's pretty much it. What was the best deal you've gotten on something on auction? On auction, um, I got Lady Rose for like two hundred dollars, and that Cherry Berry Bunny set for like two thirty. Oh, nice! Yeah. Michelle, did you ever buy anything from an auction? Not even one time. I didn't, but I know Nicole got a Holy Night Story set for one hundred and fifty dollars. Have Have no hate you, Nicole. Yeah. Flip this dress. I think I've only done auctions once, but I got um, chocolate rosette that I was searching for six months, a very rare skirt for like eight bucks. So that's about mm -hmm. 40 bucks in retail. Mm -hmm. And it was new. Yay, auction. All right. So we're going to talk about photoshops and idols and how you can be pretty too, just like me. You know, I was trying to make this tutorial last night, like with actual steps, and I was like trying to find a picture of me that I hadn't already photoshopped on Tumblr. <laughs> I was like, this isn't gonna happen. Oh. All right, who knows these people? Who has seen any of these girls before? Do you think they look like this? No. No? That's uh, for everybody who doesn't know, that's Coda Cody, Dakota Rose, and Venus Angelic. Crazy waifus. Um, bless, bless Venus Angelic and her crazy family. So here is what they really look like. That's Dakota Rose on her Japanese TV debut, and that's Venus Angelic on her like daytime television debut. Bless Dakota Rose for like making she has the ball skill on live Japanese TV without Photoshop. Bless her soul. So. We're gonna, there, so there's three ways other than Photoshop CS6, which is what I use, to get the look of the photo rows. Um, we can have, so we're gonna talk about one that's free and online, it's called Zuzu Meitu. Uh, there's an app on my phone called Camera360. Uh, somebody last night commented on my Facebook, was like, wow, what nice skin you have. I was like, yeah, yeah, I have really nice skin. Uh, it's a filter that corrects your skin on uh, Camera360. And GIMP, which is the Photoshop alternative, is free and source software. All right, so we're going to talk about Zizi May too. And so I'm going to actually stand up and point to these things so we can talk about them. I'm like dominating this panel. We're going to talk about drama together later, though. No, use the to the point. All right, can everybody hear me? No. So this is Zizi May too. This is, the, this is the URL that you go to. It's like online Photoshop and it does all the work for you. So first, this one has got a little scale. This is a liquify tool. And what it's gonna do is if you use this tool on yourself and push, it's going to make you skinnier. So it's going to push, push your weight inward. There is a danger of you First off, Hello? the ideal chin shape for Lolita is what she's got. It's going to be an anime. Yeah, headline. can you come back Look though um, um, uh, this evening? We're in a panel right now. Like <laughs> <laughs> so Excellent. Do call back uh, later. Okay. Don't screw with your chin if you don't know what it's going to look like because then you're going to look like alien. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For your weight and your arms, if you are standing in front of a busy background, and you push it in, it's pushing all the pixels inward with you. People are going to know if you Photoshop, if you aren't careful. Watch the background as well as your body. All right. <laughs> now that we know how to make ourselves skinny like I do. <laughs> We're going to talk about the next one. This is, um, yeah, this one lightens your skin tone. In China and Japan and all Asian countries, it's very popular to be white as humanly possible. Don't worry, this looks good. Oh, you, it starts at five, which is like, you look like a ghost. I do around three for me, and it lightens the whole picture up. So on this first tab, we're on the third tab, by the way. On this first tab, you can edit the photo to be a little bit blurrier. Um, let's see, and it's like, oh. corrects your whole skin tone. 
I have a little funny thing. This girl right here, the picture, is um, Misako. She's uh, like a Lolita model, and uh, recently, she, uh, Kauai ambassador recently, she was, she said in an interview that uh, all Lolitas must have straight cut bangs, and uh, like the only light colored people can be Lolitas or something of that. Bless Misako and her, her crazy racism. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up we've got blemish corrector. This, if you've got any acne scars, uh, wrinkles, uh, anything like if you're like um, squall from Final Fantasy VIII, this is for you. <laughs> so uh, it's just like a it's like a splotch, and you just pluck it on your skin, and then it corrects any any misshapen area or ugly area. All right, so then this is a wrinkle corrector too. This adds blush. For this, it's going to be really, um, when you first use it, it's going to be like a circle on your face. In, uh, decrease, or increase the opacity, and it'll be less fucking and more natural. All right, so this is, uh, this is a fun area. This is super eye shape. This is very popular in Japan because not everybody has small eyes. What they do is a mixture of using this tool, which takes the pixels near your eye and pushes them all outwards, giving you a bigger eye shape. Uh, we use circle lenses off a lot in Lolita to make our eyes look bigger. However, this is kind of like a finishing touch. Don't do this too much. One is fine. Be careful. This darkens your eyes uh, to make it more dramatic. After you've lightened your skin and you've lightened the photo in the first one, it's going to be a little bit washed out. Changes your eye color. And this is another like skin corrector down here. And that's, in this combination, you too can look Tumblr famous. Yeah. And so this is completely free. And then finally, if you once you're done here, if you go to this final tab, it's in Chinese, and it's not going to change if you got Google Translate. Um, you can save your photo, and then that's it. Now you look like everybody else. <laughs> but this is this is the easiest way to correct your photos because nobody, well, some like no model is going to ever look this nice without airbrushing, so I just taught you like a model. All right, now we can go on to drama. I think we're going to talk about uh, makeup first. All right, I just have some makeup stuff, but we can talk about like favorite makeup tips and stuff from Alita. Makeup, it's Photoshop and RL. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Photoshop. So these are how to apply, I just have like eyeliner and how to apply bottom lashes. And I still can't apply bottom lashes. Bottom lashes. Takes practice. I apply lashes and eyelashes. <laughs> but they itch. They itch so bad. 